the No Fate channel, checking in. And today I'm going to be going over my experience selling my car to CarMax. <laughs> The No Fate 24 7 channel is dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your kids and still accomplish your own personal goals. So, how does that have anything to do with CarMax.com and selling your car? Well, the reality is, as parents, as individuals in general, transportation plays a huge factor in our lives, not only getting ourselves to work and getting the kids to practices, but hey, it's also a huge cost and a huge expense in our lives. So I thought by doing a review of my personal experience selling my car to CarMax, hopefully it can give you some insight and either help you out along the way or save you some time from bothering uh, to do whether you sell your car yourself or you sell it to CarMax or you sell it to the dealer. Hopefully this can give you just a little bit of insight and hey, save you some time, save you some legwork. So I had a 2012 Hyundai Accent that I owned the title, had never been in an accident and had 57,000 miles on it just for reference. So I had planned to sell the vehicle myself. In the past, I have found that selling vehicles Personally, myself, although it can be a bit of a nuisance, tends to get me more money. The last car I sold, I got $1,500 more than the dealership was willing to pay me. So it was worth the little bit of hassle and the little bit of legwork that I had to go through in order to sell the car myself. This time around, I was still, again, willing to put in that legwork and willing to deal with some of the tire kickers and the hassle of selling the car yourself. But as a lark, I thought, let's try CarMax and see what they would offer. If you're not familiar with CarMax.com, they've got a number of locations across the country. Um, and the process is that you typically bring your car in, they give it a 20 minute inspection, so to speak, and then they give you an offer that they're willing to pay you a check that day, right there and then, and take your car off your hands for you. Um, of course, they sell cars, and I think that's where they kind of get a lot of their business is that they buy your car and sell you another one. But, um, and then once they have decided, or once you have decided to exactly, to sell your car to them, they then fill out a bunch of more paperwork. I think that process takes about 20 minutes and then they cut you a check there and then. Now what I did and what is recent or new to CarMax is that you are able to submit your car online with photos for inspection and for a vehicle offer. Now this was new to me and frankly, I thought for sure they were gonna lowball me on the price, that they were gonna give me some lowball offer. As a reference, I was hoping to list my car at 5,500 and then sell it for around 5,000 when it was all said and done. So I thought they were for sure they were gonna give me a low ball offer and it, was, it was, wasn't gonna be worth my time. But since I was able to do everything online, it made sense to kind of go through that process and just submit some photos. So I took a few photos and I'll post them up here. And, and frankly, I didn't bother to clean my car. I didn't bother to take very good photos. A lot of the photos were out of focus, that had bad lighting. Hey, I wasn't really putting in much effort because again, I never expected to sell my car through them. So I submitted all those photos and within maybe 30 minutes to an hour, I got an email back, not only with the um, offer that they were going to pay me, which at the time, which was 4,500, again, way more than I expected uh, them to offer me, 4,500. And if you, um, and also what was nice about the, the appraisal that they gave me, not only was the, the fact that they offered me a good amount of money, but they gave me the whole breakdown of the vehicle's history with respect to whether it had been an accident, whether the title was clean, whether um, maintenance had been on the vehicle and it basically gave all these checks and, 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 and I'll, probably, I'll put the, 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 the photos up here. And the reason that's good, at least as a potential seller, is that even if you don't go through CarMax, this is good material to then list your car and hopefully bring up the value of your car when you sell it privately. Because again, it's almost like a Carfax report all the information that they were able to provide me on my vehicle, like all the, all the times I had done an oil change and, and basically the state of the car in general so that a potential another buyer would know that, hey, the car is good, it doesn't have any liens on the title, so on and so forth. So as a reference, if you ever try to sell your car, there are really two online places to price out your car, Edmunds.com and kellybluebook.com. When I priced out my vehicle uh, on Edmunds, uh, I think I came, I, the average selling price was around like 37 or 3,800, right around $4,000, we'll say. On Kelly Blue Book, it, it was even lower than that. It was like 3,700. And in the appraisal that they sent me, they sh it even showed the Kelly Blue Book value being around 37, 3,800. 
their appraisal came in at $4,500, which was astounding, especially considering I was hoping to pocket $5,000. The $500 difference was certainly not going to be worth the hassle of trying to sell that car myself and list it on Craigslist, on Facebook, and everywhere else in between. Now, when I brought my car in, I totally expected them to then say, well, $4,500 was the appraised cost, and then I expected them to kind of do a bait and switch. Give me the $4,500 and then start taking money off because this I had did have some dents on the vehicle. Even though I hadn't been in an accident, I'm a horrible driver. I had some dents on the vehicle. Of course, seven-year-old car. I had a lot of road wear on the vehicle. Um, so I, I fully expected them to look at the car with, more thoroughly and then bring that price down. Lo and behold, I was there. They literally took the car, drove it in, took the license plates off, and cut me a check. I was in and out in 30 minutes, and they never... They never inspected that car whatsoever. I mean, that car had no floor mats. That car had tons of nicks and scratches that I had, I, you know, there was no issue. They never even inspected, they never even popped the hood. I was amazed at the lack of investigation they did with that car. They cut me that $4,500 check and I was very, very pleased with CarMax in general. Now, if I went to them again, would I bring my car into them to the site or would I submit photos online? The reality is I would again submit photos online because I don't know if if I locked out and I don't know if this is just how they normally work, but I don't think they should have paid me $4,500 for that car. Um, even though I think it's a great car, there's nothing wrong with it. By, by no means do I think uh, $4,500 should be given for a car that was never even looked at or under the pop, the hood was popped. Overall, my experience with CarMax.com was extremely good. They were quick, they were honest, they were upfront. There was no bait and switch with regards to the appraisal cost versus how much I got on the vehicle. The process took 30 minutes. The, 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 the CarMax that I went to in Manchester, New Hampshire, extremely clean, um, great environment. I'm probably gonna consider selling future cars through them just because my expect, expected cost for selling the car myself versus what I got from them was so close um, it certainly not wasn't going to be worth the hassle of trying to post the vehicle myself and deal with everyone under the sun trying to lowball me and, and all that all that hassle and headache. I, even in a few, I actually like the process so much. I would certainly go to them to try to buy a used car if uh, if the opportunity was there. It's definitely something I would look forward to in the future. If you came this far in the video and you found this video informative, give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions regarding CarMax, hold, drop them in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer any that I can. If you have experience selling your car to CarMax, drop them in the comment below. I'd love to know if you had an easy, easy, as easy of a time as I did or if I was the exception to the rule. And last but not least, if you have bought a used car from CarMax, drop it in the comment below. I want to know if they are as good at selling used cars and as fair as they were to me with regards to buying my used car. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. I am dedicated to helping you dads be great parents to your children and still accomplish your own personal goals. I post tips and tricks to save you dads time, energy, and money. Three things that are in short supply for every dad out there.